Hey guys, what's up? So today we are gonna be exchanging out our HID lights for some LED lights. So C-Light, they reached out to me and asked, hey, would you like to review some lights for me? And of course, again, for you guys, I said yes, because I wanna try to give you guys as many options as possible. So you can get it on Amazon. Right now they're $29.99, which is absolutely insane of a price for better than halogens, because there's some halogen bulbs that are like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, so you might as well just go with these. Um, they have four stars out of 425 reviews right now. Uh, super easy plug and play. These ones are 6,000K. For LED lights, if it says it's 6,000K, it's probably gonna be pretty white and not more on the bluer side, so it's gonna be a, probably a pretty white light. Uh, this says it comes with a year warranty. The box says a two year warranty. Uh, super bright, easy setup, uh, heat dissipates pretty well and it shouldn't flicker at all, so it should be pretty good uh, plug and play system right for your vehicle. So I'll leave the link for this down in the description below for you guys, so if you are interested in it, you can check it out for yourselves. So now I'll show you what I mean by it being super, super easy, and you don't need any of this crap. So if that's what you were holding out on from changing from halogens to LEDs or HIDs, because I mean, this HID, I love it, like I said, they were super bright, uh, the beam pattern was perfect, but I mean you have your ballast, you have your decoder, you have the, all this crap for it and that you have to hide away. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it open. So you have the box. Uh, again, this is their Sea Lights X1 series. Protectant, how happy are you with their product? Uh, basically, they want you to email them their customer service if you have any problems. This is your little warranty service, you know, for flickering, the lights don't turn on, anything abnormal. And then here is the product. So you can see what I mean with it being a lot more simpler than this whole HID kit. So you have the light and then the harness. So basically all this does for your vehicle is you plug it in, twist it on, plug this into your harness, and that's it. As opposed to your whole HID kit right here that has a whole bunch of wires you have, the decoder, your ballast, the driver, whatever this thing is, and uh, then this that finally plugs into your car's harness. So the HIDs, I feel like are obviously maybe be brighter than this, but for this being so simple and so easy and so cheap, if your halogen bulbs just ever go bad or for if you're a forerunner owner, then you know with the HIDs, you have to unfortunately cut your dust cap out. So I had to cut out my dust cap just to send these wires through. So if you don't wanna do that, and that's the reason why you were holding off, then this is a super perfect alternative. So let's go ahead and get these installed into the 4Runner. Uh, I'll show you guys the beam pattern that it has uh, on my wall, and then we'll wait for it to get dark out, and then I'll show you some driving footage with it. Okay, so if you install them and they don't turn on right away, just flip the harness a complete 180, like leave one side the way it was, and then flip it the other way. Uh, because I turned my lights on to test it to make sure that it was good before I put the dust cap on and it didn't turn on. So that means just flip the uh, polarity basically and it should turn on. All right, so as you can see, it's right here. All I did was I just put it into the housing, turned it, and then just connected it to my stock wiring harness. So if you just want better than halogen lights, I would recommend these. I mean, I haven't used them at nighttime yet, so that'll be at the end of the video. But if you don't want to, you know, cut your uh, dust cap right here, like I have in the past due to the HIDs, then this is a perfect alternative because all it does is it just comes in, you have your heat uh, deflection right here, it twists right in perfectly, and then all you have to do is just attach it to your stock harness. All right, and now I have it on. Uh, I have the HID in this one, so it's powering up right now, but the LED is instant on. So I'm curious to see how it is at nighttime. So over here is the HID and right here is the LED. To me, HIDs will always be better than cheaper LEDs. This one is you know, a, a cheaper uh, alternative to a halogen bulb, which is perfectly fine if you want that nice bright white light. Um, as you could tell, the HID is bleeding more this way with the projector bulb whereas the LED is just kind of in this area. So at the end of the video, when I do the driving, I'm curious to see as to how far the LED actually protrudes. 
because uh, you get some distance from the HID. It casts out on the road pretty well. So I'm curious to see how well it's going to do. So let's get the other side installed and let's go ahead and wait for nighttime and hopefully it stops raining because it's been raining all freaking day. Okay, so here they are uh, at nighttime. They go pretty decent out actually. I mean, I got to keep in mind that these are only like 30 bucks and they're just literally plug and play. So honestly, they're pretty good. Uh, you can see basically the line as it goes out. That's probably... Uh, I don't know, 60 feet out maybe, uh, where you can see those cars going, the line kind of dies halfway and that's a stoplight out there. So it, it probably goes a good 60 to 100 feet out before it starts fading. Uh, no real dead spots except for kind of like right here, there's just a tad, tad dead spot. But they're pretty good for being in projector headlights. Um, the phone again doesn't do it the best of justice. Over here though, you can kind of tell it's a little dead, uh, whereas the HIDs kind of filled in that spot over there. Uh, but a really good solid flat line uh, from the projector bulb. So there's not that much uh, blotchiness actually. So these are pretty good for you know only being 30 bucks and just plug and play with no drivers or anything. So we'll go ahead and turn into some uh, little bit of dirt it just rain too so they're nice and white which I really like white light so even if they aren't you know incredibly brighter than your halogen bulbs that you used to have I prefer a uh, white light it allows things to reflect like you just saw in this uh, trailer right here the, uh, the reflectors reflect up, or if you're on the road and there's a bunch of road construction, uh, reflection is very, very good with white light as opposed to uh, halogen bulbs. So pretty, uh, pretty good and even line. There's my bright lights. But I mean, for the most part, these things are very, very good for just, you know, being cheap $29 bulbs. I mean, I don't know how many times I've said that, sorry, but they're, they're pretty cheap and pretty good actually, so. Come right here but when the vehicle does dip down though you do lose a lot of light I mean granted that is also the projector bulb uh, housing but and then here they are outside the vehicle pretty bright they're 6,000 K you know but they're not not terribly blinding so someone, you know, shouldn't flash at you. But you have the bushes lit up here and then way out there and you could see my shadow. So they're pretty good for, you know, the price that they are. So I would definitely recommend them if, you know, you just want something a little bit better than uh, your halogen bulbs, or I should say a lot better actually than your halogen bulbs, but for a very, very good cheap price. And they're not can't tell that the housing is warm at all either so so yeah so if this video was helpful for you guys I'll leave the link down below in the description if you liked them uh, go ahead and leave a like and if you guys have any questions about anything with that uh, anything with you know these lights or other lights just go ahead and leave me a comment or you can also email me too and I'm pretty good at replying back to everyone if I have the chance and subscribe if you're new for more uh, 4Runner and Toyota stuff and I'll catch you guys in the next one Alright, see you later.